Hi guys, Miss Shanna here coming to you from my house on this Sunday evening. This is the first of several children's messages that we're going to do on Sunday evening um, until we can meet in person again. So, first of all, I wanted to tell the Kingdom's kids that I miss you guys so much. Mr. Chuck and I were just talking about you today and hope that you're all doing really good. Um, Wyatt, Wynn, and Whitney, congratulations on baby Weston. Um, I'm sure I'm going to hear lots of stories about him when we get together again, and I cannot wait. James and Callie and James and Gunner, I hope you guys are doing good and enjoying the time that you have with your family right now. And just know that I miss you all and I'm praying for you every night. For those of you that don't come to Kingdom's Kids, um, we continue to pray for you as well. Um, I hope that you will in watch and enjoy these children's messages that we're going to give to you every Sunday evening. Um, and just to keep moving on until we see you again, I guess is the best thing to say. So for tonight's children's message, we are going to talk about the fruits of the Spirit. So in Kingdom's Kids, we've been learning about the fruits of the Spirit since the beginning of fall. Um, we are supposed to learn our last fruit of the Spirit and talk about it this month, but obviously um, that has not been able to happen. So we'll talk about it on here. So the last fruit of the Spirit that we have not discussed is faithfulness. And faithfulness is kind of a hard fruit of the Spirit for some kids to understand. So you guys know I love sports. I'm a sports mom. I love everything about sports. So I'm going to put it to you in terms of sports. So we all love the Carolina Panthers, right? Um, they got rid of our quarterback. They got rid of a lot of our favorite players. They didn't have a very good winning season, but we still love them. We didn't go say, oh, now I'm a Denver Broncos fan because the Panthers had a really rough year and so I'm just not going to be a fan of theirs anymore. We don't do that because we're loyal. And faithfulness is a lot like loyalty. Um, it's our loyalty to God. And it's our ability to show people how God is loyal to them. Because not everybody knows about God or knows about how he lives in your heart. Um, so because we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, it's our job then to show other people about Jesus and God through our faithfulness. And our faithfulness grows in a lot of ways. Um, going to church, which obviously we can't do that right now. So, um, we read our Bible, we pray every night, and we also do our other fruits of the Spirit. And there's lots of fruits of the Spirit that you can be doing right now at home. Um, a big one that I'm thinking about, if you have brothers and sisters, is self-control. I hope you guys are practicing self-control at home. And, um, you know, maybe if your sister or brother is not being very nice to you, I hope that you have self-control and aren't um, acting out when they're not nice. Um, kindness is a big one. We can show kindness maybe to our grandma. If she can't get out and go to the store, maybe we can go with mom to the store and get her the things that she needs. Maybe we can help her plant a flower bed or a garden right now. Um, love, obviously we show love to our family. We love our family. Um, we're stuck in the house with them for right now, so it's important to show love, hugs and kisses at night. Um, I know that the W's are showing love to their baby. Um, so, you know, there's fruits that patience, <laughs> be patient with your mom and dad if they don't understand Zoom or they don't know exactly how to answer a question that you have. It's not easy for us. Um, we haven't been in school in a long time, so sometimes it takes a little longer, so you have to be patient. Um, so there's a lot of ways that we can be faithful to God's Word and be faithful to God right now and also, you know, do the other fruits of the Spirit. I also wanted to give you a challenge. Um, right now while you're at home, find a quiet place. Um, I know for Tanner, he likes to sit in trees. And for Trey, he likes the quietness of his bedroom. Um, I like my front porch. Um, Chuck does a lot of his praying in the car um, while he's at work. So he's still working right now. I encourage you to find a place where you can go and be in God's Word. Um, take your Bible. I know each of you have a Bible. So take your Bible and look up the fruits of the Spirit. Wyatt is awesome at finding Bible verses. I challenge the rest of you to be as awesome as Wyatt is when we see each other again. Find your favorite Bible verse. I can tell you mine, which have a lot to do with right now. My very favorite Bible verse is Matthew 
634 and it says therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has enough trouble of its own um, so I encourage you guys one day at a time don't make a lot of plans right now just take each day as it comes um, and I also encourage you to keep a journal now if you can't write you can draw pictures or maybe you'd rather draw pictures maybe you like to draw more than you like to write draw about what you did um, and then I encourage you to bring it back and share it with us when we get to see each other again um, again maybe you helped your grandma plant something uh, maybe you helped on the farm maybe you helped cook um, I know Easter's coming up there's a lot maybe you did a little Easter egg hunt for your brother or sister there's lots of things that you can be doing right now that are all the things that we've learned about in the fruits of the spirit so I encourage you to write them down and then we'll talk about them when we see each other again um, I'll be back next Sunday, which actually happens to be Palm Sunday, and I have a little cooking activity that we're going to do. So I'm going to do a cooking activity with you that maybe then you can do at home. It's easy peasy, um, and it's kind of fun. So I hope you guys have a great week. Know that I love you and miss you so much, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye.